Hello, this is an emotional video. If you are in a good mood, I hope you have a good day. It's it's actually a wonderful weather here where, where I am and maybe. But if, if you are in a, in a good mood, just close this down, okay? Close this down. Uh, and I wish you a good day. Okay, so Phoenix Rising. There's something about this which is uh, very negative. Okay, many people see this as something positive, uh, a rebirth. Um, um, where, where, where do I go from here? Um, yeah, okay, basically I can just tell you I feel myself very emotional right now Very emotional There is something There is something With the Philosopher's Stone That isn't entirely Hunky dory isn't entirely fine, you could say. It's it is um, so the philosopher's stone is what captures the spirit. It captures the 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 phoenix. You know, the phoenix comes down uh, and and the light is captured into the stone but the stone is crap okay the the, the things are crap okay I, I i cannot really explain this in a good way because i am i am the guy that actually discovered the philosopher's stone and so The phoenix will rise from the stone because the stone isn't maybe simply because the stone is maybe some kind of prison, you know, it's a prison for for the the phoenix i know that what i'm saying is is not making sense uh, but um, so we as humans you know and i i am a man so i'm going to talk as i am you know so there is a, there is a, because you honestly, honestly, I don't really know what a woman is, you know. I don't know what a woman is because I'm a man, okay. So I don't know. Uh, but when it comes to a man, we are um, women in our minds, uh, deep in, in inside the mind, the unconscious mind, and we have this. Um, uh, what do you call it? we we uh, attract god we attract god into our mind just and we are kind of i'm um, just trust me on this one okay we are female and we get fertilized by god okay we are the female nature in some sense up there and uh, deep within all the logic and all of this that is typ typically ma male you will find the ideal woman, like Carl Jung has has talked about, um, the creator of analytical psychology. Okay, Carl Jung, he 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 described this very well, very well. 
Um, so it's it's as if it's doomed to fail, you know. So this is this is um, relationship. This is a relationship, okay? It's a relationship between the male and the female. We are doomed to do, go together into one and, be, and become the the burning the burning uh, pyramid together. You know, a pyramid, a burning a burning eye. The woman is the eye. And the fire is the male. So we are we are doomed to, to go together. And, and and eventually the woman is doomed to fail, as I see it. Okay. The the prison the prison for for the for the phoenix inside this philosopher's stone inside the womb you know the philosopher's stone is the womb it's the egg the philosopher's egg it's going to crack you know so maybe maybe what when you are when you are with a woman okay and maybe it's supposed to fail you know because you're supposed to be reborn you see what i mean and what happens when you're reborn the egg will crack the egg symbolizes the female, the material. So it's it's a constant womb that is uh, filled with this um, phoenix, you know. And then there is going to be some transformation here, and then the phoenix will like exit. You know, eventually. And become uh, magnificent, right? It just uh, upsets me. Okay, that's all. It's, it's upsetting to me because I, I, want, I want everything to be hunky dory you know everything must be okay you know I'm, I'm i'm thinking here that i'm finding something that's actually going to help you in having a purpose in, in in things you know as if the as if finding the philosopher's stone means that everything is fixed you know everything is awesome um but i don't think so actually um uh, so even if you would find the purest whitest stone and fill it with yourself it is destined to crack And maybe this is what life is. And once you understand it, I mean, maybe, you know, what's the point of understanding it even? Oh, I shouldn't say that, you know, but I'm a bit emotional right now. By the way, I know a lot of things that I didn't tell you about this, about the Philosopher's Stone, about the Divine Feminine. You know, who cares? I, I don't care. Uh, I I can just be lazy instead, you know. I'm I'm just in a bad mood, guys. Um, so I found some amazing things about the divine fem feminine, you know. I, I I really get it. I really really get it. And and it has to do with uh, Mary Magdalene. I also found some amazing things with uh, 
with other things in relation to that, that somehow, somehow no one knows about this, you know? I, it's freaking amazing to me. And, and then, then I talk about it. I talk about something, and suddenly someone with 4 million subscribers talks about the same thing. And no, why give me credit, you know? Who, who fucking cares about me, right? Uh, so, who cares? Who cares? I'm, I am the machine here creating the truth, and who, who freaking cares about me, right? I'm, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just a ghost in the machine, right? I am the ghost in the machine because, because you can't point, no one can point at me and say, hey, look at this guy, you know, no one can do that. I mean, some of you can, right? But in some sense, in some sense, I am the ghost in, in the machine because I will, I will tell you some really important truths. And somehow, it's going to reach uh, the, the four or five million um, uh, YouTube creators with four or five million subscribers. And, and um, they're going to say some stuff, which is amazing. And they're going to have this amazing graphical presentation. And... Um, um, there's no, there's going to be no sources, you know, and you know what, maybe they didn't even watch my videos, it's just freaking uh, telepathy, right, my freaking telepathical thoughts will reach this guy with 5 million subscribers or more, and he will freaking know what I'm, what I know, and he will, he will um, use the same words, use the same words he will use the identical words that i have in parts in, in parts of my book okay but that's the thing he probably didn't read my book okay he probably didn't do that it's just it's just magical you know it's magical telepathy and i'm just a ghost okay i don't exist in some sense in some sense i don't exist guys and uh, and maybe Maybe I am, you know, <sighs> no. Uh, okay. I am in a bad mood, guys. I'm really, really bad mood. Um, but, um, I discovered a lot of new things. I don't feel like talking about it, honestly. Uh, but, uh, the, the divine feminine is getting more and more clear to me what it, uh, how it is, and and the the meaning of it, and in some sense, in some sense, everything is feminine. Everything has um, has a womb, and the, and on the other side of that womb, there's a there's a dick, you know, and the dick will fertilize another womb, you know, and that womb will, in some sense, have a dick that, yeah, you know, you can, you can freaking draw some art of this. Someone is probably going to draw some art of this, and this art will, uh, will be like, yeah, it will be, be like telepathy, and um, that's just freaking how it is. And then we're going to have an exact top uh, of the 10-year yield. In uh, March of 2025, the 10-year yield will top. It will top out. And who cares about that? I talked about that, right? Who cares about that? Uh, no, just ignore the magic. Just ignore the magic. And you know, I happen to fall into the magic. I happen to to um, become magic. I happen to become magic. But you know. In this world, magic doesn't exist because, yeah, it doesn't. So, so I don't exist, you know. I don't exist because magic doesn't exist, you know. So, poof, I'm not here anymore, guys. I'm not here anymore, right? Who cares? Seriously, who cares? Um, uh, 
Anyhow, on the positive, on the positive side, okay, on the positive side, when you know what the philosopher's stone is, you will intuitively find that egg that you're supposed to find. Okay, there is some in some metaphorical sense, there is always an egg to find. You must always find that egg that is white. Okay, or uh, 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 and you know that egg will will turn red. Ah, uh, 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 it will turn red. Aragonite, uh, right? And then it will crack, and you will be reborn. And you know what? The, the, maybe this is you know you have the you have the beehive. In in uh, in Freemasonic in, in free, as a Freemasonic symbol you have the bee, beehive you know and my telepath my telepathy will just uh, is this beehive in some sense maybe it is you know um, maybe it's the freaking Christ consciousness itself right and I I I. I You know, place a lot of riddles, place a lot of riddles everywhere, you solve it, and then you advance, but, but there is suffering, right? There is suffering, and I'm suffering, guys. When, when you found the purest, whitest egg, which is metaphorically everywhere, you are destined to crack the egg. Right? Just, in, just like this alchemical art, when you have, when you have the, the, the man with a sword, the man with the sword hitting the egg in the alchemical art. In the same way you have when, when Christ died on the cross, you have, you have, um, you have the egg eating, you know, you crack the egg. You paint, you paint the egg also, right? You paint the egg. You know what? I'm not going to talk about this. I don't feel like it, actually. Uh, at the end phase, before before cracking the egg, there is not not much room. Everything you do seems to echo inside the egg all you know the entire world is the egg all you do inside of that egg you will notice yourself every movement you do in in the world of the egg you will see maybe you know reality bending itself is a, is a sign of a successful egg growing instead of having a death inside the egg you have something actually growing and manifesting reality inside the egg because because it's simply growing you know and then one day the egg goes crack one day the world goes crack, you know. And yeah, I have been thinking a lot about this. I know that some guy talked about this. What's, what's his name, right? There is someone else that talks, talked about my thoughts here again. 
And the difference, the difference between me and everyone else is, is that I'm, I am, I am a nobody. I will always be a nobody. And what about that? What about being a nobody? What does it mean? Well, be, being a nobody means suffering. And what does the chick do in the egg? The little chicken in the egg? Well, it suffers. Okay. So no matter no matter how much you can echo inside this egg, you will never get away from the suffering of feeling the walls of the egg closing in on you and making it stressful on your new body, right? There's a new body growing in the egg. And in some sense, you have to be a nobody. You must be a nobody because otherwise it's a lie. Otherwise the chemicals in the brain of, of, the little sh of the little bird will release and prepare for death or something, you know, and that's enjoyable, right? So the actual growth inside the egg must hurt, you know, and so if you feel like me, then you can empathize with what's inside the egg, right? You can do that. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm, as I said, I'm a really bad mood and I'm sorry if I made your day worse. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Okay, guys, let's end it. Have a good day. Bye bye.